our next guest coming out is one of my all-time favorite comedians in the entire world. He's making his network television debut here tonight. He's going to be at uh, Berkeley in college, California, Berkeley University, where all the hip people go, <laughs> Berkeley University. On March 18th, please welcome Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Uh, I usually uh, do stand-up comedy, and uh, tonight I really don't feel like it. <laughs> and um, tonight I'm going to play the piano and talk about myself. <laughs> Please don't laugh. None of this is funny. I live in L.A., and that's short for Los Angeles. And I like to hang out in Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard. The other night I was there, and I was making out with a squatter in front of Ripley's Believe It or Not. And I had just got a henna tattoo that said forever. And I'd been drinking that night. And by the way, you know you have a drinking problem when the bartender knows your name and you've never been to that bar before. <laughs> and I'm there on the Walk of Fame where all the stars are. And I stumble across Tony Danza's star. <laughs> and I urinated on it. Just yelling out, who's the boss now? <laughs> My New Year's resolution for 2000 is, or was, to stop saying, you go girl, to myself. <laughs> And I've already broken that four times. And I'm getting ready to break it a fifth because I'm on The Late Show. You go, girl. You know what I like to do when I'm making out with a woman? I like to whisper into her ear, will you touch my vagina? She's like, what? And I'm like, that's what you're supposed to say. I saw this guy, I saw this guy today here in New York that I used to temp with. I'll never forget, I called a temp agency once and they were like, uh, well, do you have any phone skills? It's like, uh, I called you, didn't I? <laughs> Do you mean, can I build a phone? <laughs> and then we got disconnected. <laughs> My roommate is half Japanese, and it's really weird. Because she only takes one shoe off before she comes inside. <laughs> And it kind of sucks because she wears high heels. And it sounds like a damn pirate walking through my apartment. I like to call 411 and ask the number for information. They're like, this is information. I'm like, well, give me the damn number then. Two years ago, my sister was diagnosed with multiple personalities, and there's nothing funny about that. But she phoned me the other day, and 
my caller ID exploded. <laughs> Why do I sit around my apartment on my hardwood floor, Indian style, just yelling out to myself, you ain't got no pancake mix? <laughs> I've always wanted to say that in front of five million people. <laughs> I've been trying to quit drinking for a while now, and uh, I was in my apartment, and I drank a 12-pack of O'Doul's. I went driving around in my car, and I got pulled over by a cop. He's like, son, have you been drinking? And I said, sort of. <laughs> he said, what have you been drinking? And I said, oh, duels, non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> and he wrote me a ticket for being a wussy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a new headshot. It's a scratch and sniff. <laughs> and it smells like failure and onions. <laughs> hey, mom and dad, wherever you are. <sighs> I like to go to really bad movies, like in their fifth week, like Deuce Bigelow. <laughs> There's only one other person in the theater, and I like to sit right next to them. And they're like, excuse me. And I'm like, shh, I can't hear deuce. It's really hard for me to perform tonight. Tonight I'm celebrating a, an anniversary of sorts. Three years ago to this date. I decided to take my own life. I said, Zach, do it in front of your coworkers, your manager at work, and the misery. I don't know how many of you have tried to jump off a pizza hut. <laughs> but you really just get a sprained ankle out of the deal. <laughs> and then you have to and then you have to go back inside and serve crazy bread. <laughs> With a limp. Mr. Zach Galifianakis, who just kicked ass on his network television debut. Um, are, you, uh, are you allowed to say kick? Am I allowed to say kick in here? That's <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so, Zach, why don't you tell us about your latest pay-per-view special? I understand you recently had a baby. Um... Any, anyway, so when you're in Los Angeles, where do you usually perform around town? Uh, that's, um, I usually I perform in uh, my car a lot, but also I perform, mm -hmm. and I perform in coffee houses usually, and that's it. And, alternative uh, comedy, I've heard alter of it. Yeah, yeah, alternative, alternative comedy. comedy. That's great. <laughs> uh, but um, 15 minutes before I knew that uh, I was going to do this show, which I think was last Tuesday, uh, I had a message on my machine, and I was very excited about it because it was another state, it was another performance, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we have a clip of that, an audio clip. An audio clip. <laughs> Hi, Zach, it's Christy Murphy. I'm just calling because I am starting a stand-up comedy show. Tomorrow is the first night, um, and it is called All Washed Up. It is stand-up comedy at a laundromat. Um, so everyone who does a load of laundry there is guaranteed a set. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you there. 
Yeah. How many in a laundry mat? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's called All Washed Up. All Washed Up. That's nice. Like my career. Oh, God. <laughs> but also, now it was uh, listed in the New York Post that you were going to be on tonight, and it far be it from them from erroneously reporting anything. <laughs> but um, <laughs> they skewed your name so badly. Yeah. And, and the worst thing is, like, I know it's not important to, like, everyone globally, but, like, when you do stuff like this, it's, it's so important to you, and, like, you want to save stuff for your little scrapbook, and your name is Galifianakis. That's and right. And this is how they <laughs> printed it in the New York Post today. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show it. Um, tonight, Late Show with David Letterman, Bob Odenkirk, David Cross, Zach Galifrosky. <laughs> Guest host, Gene Garofalo. Yeah. It's like, the, the last name is, uh, is uh, really difficult to deal with. And, um, <laughs> Galifrosky is pretty close, though. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but, it, like, a lot of times when people bring me on stage, like, they mm -hmm. try to make my last name sound Greek mm -hmm. when they bring me on, and they don't really care. They just, like, ladies and gentlemen, bring it up, bring it together for your next guy, Zach Stephanopoulos. <laughs> Here he comes, everyone, Zach Snuffleupagus. <laughs> Please put your hands together for Baklava Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. So, uh... I got a thousand of them. So, uh, uh, New York jobs. That was the uh, the next uh, topic of conversation. Any oh, other New York yeah, jobs New York jobs. Had? New York jobs. I used to be a nanny here in New York. <laughs> <laughs> an au pair. Yeah. You're a yeah, delightful au pair. Yeah, I was. And I don't know if I can tell this. I should have. Um, I'll never forget. I was uh, a nanny for this kid, and uh, he Please was. Don't name his name. I won't. <laughs> I want to so badly. <laughs> <laughs> Alan um, Smithy. Yeah, Alan Smithy. Yeah, Alan Smithy. And um, uh, he was, you know, he was, he's a bratty kid. He's seven years old. And I'll never forget, we were um, doing, uh, watching television. We were watching television. And he, uh, I said, he, uh, I said, uh, Frank, um, <laughs> why don't you uh, turn off the television? It's time to do homework. And he's like, no. And uh, I said, come on, turn off the television. It's time to do homework. And he's like, no. So I get up and I turn the TV off. And uh, he gets up and he turns the TV back on. Seven years old. And he looks at me and he goes, you do what I say or I'm going to tell my mom you're touching my penis. Great. That's, that is such a great story. That You should make a Hallmark special out of that story. Because it's so, I feel good. It's so warm. That's nice. 